Hi, I'm Glenn. And I'm Mark. And welcome to another episode of Masonic Unity, The Right Stuff. Mark, we're here at the Museum of Masonic Culture at the Grand Lodge of New Jersey at 100 Barrick Street in Trenton, New Jersey. Second floor. Second floor. We are here in front of an exhibit of fraternal letter blocks. Not something you see in a lot of Masonic museums or libraries. Not something you see at all. Um, so the uh, this technology is actually very very old. Okay. It's it's, it pre, uh, it's really relating to the printing press. It started in Gutenberg. Uh, came up with the the our current way of printing the printing press in right. about the 1420s 1450s in that range, and that was the precursor to all of our printing now. Right. Uh, but really block printing came along centuries before that, even back to the Chinese. Oh, wow. Um, basically printing on reed or parchment printing on or parchment yeah. or anything yeah. like that, basically carving things into blocks, putting in putting ink, some kind of a, a dye or an ink on it, and then, and then leaving that imprint behind. But what we have here is these are actually um, printing blocks that were put into printing presses um, pr uh, Prior to you know, computer right. designs, um, they would make up the um, the designs for books or for papers or things like that, and they would put each letter would have a different block in. Okay. But what we have here are these are blocks that are relating to fraternal designs. Wow. So we have designs from uh, Freemasonry. We have Scottish Rite. We have Square and Compass. Knights Templar, Demolay, Demolay, which we just Hot talked fellows. about a little while, and, and the Shriners. Exactly. What's What's neat is that it's not just Masonic, as as we said. It's right. It's fraternal. It's Odd Fellows. It's uh, It's uh, what else do we have? Uh, Patriotic Order, Sons of America. We have Knights of Columbus, Rotary. What's interesting is that this this was a way for the common man to see fraternal organizations. Okay. Okay. So this was used probably in through, oh, probably the 1900s, early right. 2000s. And then uh, we started to move into more computerized versions. But okay. um, we are always looking for uh, new, new ways of portraying our craft to the general public. And this is going back centuries. Exactly, exactly. What's interesting is that this is actually, there are several different techniques here. There's, there's a regular uh, type of a block here, which is a raised design. You can mm -hmm. stamp it and then you would imprint it. Um, we have here um, what they would call a, an engraved block, which is actually the inverse. You can't really see it, and we'll take a picture of this. Um, it's the, the design is, is imprinted into the block backwards, backwards right? And then we have more of a, a stamp, which is a, a physical stamp. It would not fit into a regular um, regular printing type press. This would actually be for just a, a secretarial type okay. thing. Exactly, exactly. So it's it's a real find that uh, we're always looking to expand because these are these printing blocks are always available out on the, the open market. So not just the Museum of Masonic Culture, but fraternal culture. Fraternal culture. As we see a lot culture. of our fraternal uh, organizations along with us. Exactly, exactly. And to that end, we'd like to give a shout out to one of our, our colleagues in the uh, fraternal collections uh, business. We, we call it, we uh, like to say hello to Keith yep. and his crew at Masonic Curators. Uh, you guys are doing a great job, and we thank you for your support. And anybody who's watching our uh, our shows, please go over and watch uh, Keith McKinnon, uh, who's based out of Boston, and his crew at uh, Masonic Curators. They're on YouTube. They're on uh, Facebook. Um, they are part of an ever-growing community of Masonic um, item enthusiasts. It's exciting that not just us in Trenton, but them up in Boston. Exactly. And all across the all country, across the world. many people. Yep. I'd also like to give a shout out to uh, the uh, group at Indiana for uh, their fraternal work, um, to Heather Calloway and her crew. Um, so keep an eye out for their fraternal, uh, their fraternal collections at the University of Indiana. Wow. So with that, we thank you for your support and your interest. 
Well, we'd like to also like this video. Yeah. Give it a thumbs up. And importantly, if you'd like to see many of our videos out there and interviews and special artifacts and displays, subscribe down below. More things are coming. So thanks for joining us, and we'll see you soon. Take care. See you later.